What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to jazz up your sections in Revit, how to make them look more interesting and how to present your project a little bit better so people can understand it quicker and easier. And this is the project that I'm that I will be working with. This is just a house that I am uh, drawing in Revit for school. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Let's just scroll down here in the project browser and go to section one. And this is the section we're working with. So this is the, the one that I'm going to be adjusting. So the first thing, as you can see here, the section is way too large. We can see way too much over here on the, on the sides. So we need to make it a bit smaller. And how do you do that? You go here to the properties panel, you find crop view and you turn on these two. So crop view and crop region visible, you apply and this is what you get. So this is the crop region visible and the crop view is the fact that the view, that the view will be cropped. So I'm just going to crop it like this. I like to crop out trees just a little bit that, so they show a bit of boundary around our drawing. Let's see maybe make this a bit smaller and yeah so make it kind of like that and once you're done you just turn off this crop region visible so as you can see the view is still cropped but we can't see that ugly outline okay so the next thing uh, we need to fix some inconsistencies here as you can see these two are kind of going these two circles are kind of going over each other so you just select one of these you hit this button over here that says add elbow and it kind of splits it around and adds this elbow so you can play around with that and you can actually change the height if you want but I think this works pretty well and here we also we have these two that are kind of going over each other and we can see for this level Prizemlje which means uh, ground level in Serbian we can't see the the ground so we can't see the elevation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this line over here go here and add elbow and as you can see now we can kind of manipulate this in a way that it doesn't uh, it, it, it isn't in blocking this number over here so we've got that fixed and just to make these more uh, look a bit better for the grid lines I'm going to use the same blue color that we have over here just to make it look a bit more interesting so I'm just going to select one of these grid lines and go into edit type and here for the end segment color I'm just going to change this to this um, just custom blue color and just go OK go apply okay and this is what we get so these are now blue you can see them see them a bit better they pop out so if you're just looking for the grids you can find them a lot easier and same thing for this these here elevations so i'm just going to select one of them go edit type and let's change the color to orange uh, orange is kind of the theme for this i'm using a lot of orange so why not make these orange as well because uh, there will be a lot of other orange elements as annotations so I don't want these to stick out way too much so they're kinda in the background okay next thing if I zoom in over here you can see all of these things that I've created the walls the the floors stuff like that they're kinda disbalanced you need to have the floor ending over here inside of the wall that's just how the, the construction works but it's kind of ugly to have this thick line inside of the wall same thing here it's it just doesn't look right so how do you fix that you go here to the modify tab and you find this join geometry tool and you just go around and you start to joining this geometry and as you can see now it uh, the, the the thick line is going on the outside you can do the same thing here I guess yeah and again look so that line is gone and it actually connected the thermal insulation over here so let's see did it do that here and if it doesn't connect the way you want it to connect you can always go here to uh, switch join order and then you can kind of play around and switch the join order so here works like that let's see can we switch it here yeah I think this is more accurate you wouldn't have a wall starting from uh, thermal insulation that, that just wouldn't work structurally and then you can again play around see can we join any of these things nope let's see this it w will join some elements and it won't join other elements and you need to see kinda which one will it work with so 
So for some reason this... Okay, it works now. So it worked for this, let's see. Yeah. And you just... Okay, see, as you can see, here we connected this staircase down to this... Uh, this structural slab over here and that's how it would look in real life. The only downside is we can't eliminate this ugly tech line but that's okay and yeah the roof looks fine everything looks a lot better right now maybe connect these two yeah so we're we deleted all of those ugly tech lines so this looks a lot better so now to make it look even more uh, technical and as the, as this technical drawing would have to be, we need to add an insulation line. See, I already gave a kind of a catch, solid catch with this uh, yellow material for the thermal insulation, but I also like to have that batting line. So you go here to the annotate tab and you find the insulation line. This is the, the typical batting line and you just go from the center of this and you just go way up. And you connect it over here and this is what you get now as you can see this is a bit too large so you can make it smaller you can make it 17 centimeters yeah this works better now and here for this insulation uh, bungle if you go this is now at 2 if I type 3 it will be smaller so the higher the number the smaller the increment I guess the or the interval so you play around with that and see what works let's see will 2.5 work it will. Yeah, so you just kind of play around and see what works for you. So, and you just go create similar and you continue creating this insulation line all around your building. Okay, so once we're done placing this batting line, as you can see now, the, the walls kind of seem too dark and this line is way too pronounced. So I, I'm just going to change that. And how do you do that? You go here to the, uh, you go to the manage tab, you go to additional settings, and here we have this line styles option. And if we open up all of these lines, scroll down a bit, you have this insulation batting lines. And I'm just going to change it from black to orange maybe make it a bit lighter orange and just hit OK, apply, OK. And as you can see now it's this warm orange material for our warm thermal insulation. So that looks really nice. So let's see what else can we do to make this look a bit better. Also one of the things I like to do is I like to make all of the walls kind of stand out a bit and have all of the furniture and all of the windows and stuff be kind of in the distance and be a bit lighter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in VG for visibility graphics and here I'm going to for these windows I want them to be half tone. So I'm just going to search down to windows and turn on half tone, hit apply and as you can see now they're a bit grayer and the same thing for the trees. I like to have trees but I like them to be a bit half tonish so I'm just going to search here for planting let's see p -p -p planting and let's see half tone apply so we can see still see the see the trees they look nice they add a bit of depth to the drawing but they're not they're not that important so they shouldn't be kind of uh, popping out of the drawing next thing uh, this line the, the outside line looks good but I think it could be just a bit th thicker to make this whole thing look a bit better so I'm just going to go again to VG visibility graphics find walls and just uh, uh, make this cut line and let's override it to 4 let's see how that works yeah it looks a lot darker I like it so I'm just going to hit OK. So it's a bit thicker, it looks a bit better, and it's visibly it's better. Another thing I like to add is usually when you're pouring concrete on the ground, or concrete, yeah, not concrete, con concrete, American. So <laughs> I like to add some gravel. Usually you don't place concrete on uh, ground or on earth. You place it on some gravel. You usually have around 10 centimeters of a gravel layer below all of your concrete concrete 
So, how do you do that? You go here to annotate and you have this region option. So I'm just going to do a filled region and then I'm just going to do a 10 centimeter rectangle over here. Let's see, is it 10? Make sure that it's 10. Then do one below these uh, footings, I guess, foundation footing. So do 10 here, then do another one here, going all the way to the other side kind of like that. Make sure that it is at 10. Again, do the same thing here. Oh, I made it 10. That's great. And let's do this thing here. This is way too large. Yeah, 14. Yeah, let's do 10 there as well. And you just hit OK. And now it's got this ugly vertical hatch. But if I go here into edit type, we can duplicate it, call it gravel, I hope I spelled that right, and see which foreground pattern we can use. Yeah, let's do this sand dance. We don't really have gravel, I think, here. Yeah, so let's just do this dense sand. And it looks kind of like that. So as you can see over here, we have now that little layer of gravel that's underneath our concrete. And uh, let's see what else we can add. One more thing that I like to do in these uh, sections, they look nice as is, and you're not supposed to use uh, any uh, shadows in sections, but I like to add just a tad bit of shadow to add a bit of depth, and then I'm going to uh, turn them way down. So if I turn on shadows, it looks like this, but of course, we can't leave it like this. It's, it's just wrong. So just go here to this visual styles, hidden window, go into graphic display options. And I'm just going to change here uh, for a lighting shadows, I'm going to bring them to 10. Okay, that's way too much. Let's try 80, 18. Yeah, let's go with 16. Yeah. So as you can see, it adds a little bit of depth, but it's not too hard. So you, you don't really notice it. It's, it's, it's nothing crazy. So there you go. We created a very cool looking uh, section in Revit. We've jazzed it up from what we had before. So I'm very happy with the result. I hope you like it as well. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.